the chain there we go suppose you have a function like z which is defined as f of x and y with two free variables at the same time for this differentiable function your x and y they are dependent on a third variable so suppose you have a differentiable function so at the same time x is a function of a third variable like t and y also depends on the third variable t so t represents a new variable it can be time it can be heat it can be angle totally up to the question that you're working with g and h are also differentiable of t are differentiable of functions, functions of t. Very well. Then dz dt, the rate of change of z with respect to this new variable is defined as partial derivative of f with respect to x times the rate of change of x with respect to t plus partial derivative of f with respect to y times the rate of change of y with respect to t. This is using the chain rule in case one. We only have two free variables, x and y, and these two are dependent on a third variable like t. So dz dt is the partial derivative of f with respect to x times the rate of change of x with respect to t plus f y, the partial derivative of f with respect to y times the rate of change of y with respect to t. This is one way to find the derivative of z with respect to t. You can also substitute x and y into the function and just directly take the derivative. When you substitute g and h into the function, you eliminate x and y. You don't have x and y anymore. You only have t. Let's go over one example. Suppose I give you function z, which is x squared y plus 3x y to the fourth x is sine 2t and y is cosine t. Very well. So here you might say that I want to take the derivative of z with respect to t. So I'm going to substitute these two into the function and then just take the derivative of sine and cosine and apply the chain rule that we learned before. So one option is to substitute x and y into z, then take the derivative. So this is your first option. Going back to elementary, elementary calculus, then take the derivative. The second option is just following the formula. Second option or the second solution is dz dt is equal to partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we're going to take the derivative with respect to x. We get 2xy plus 3y to the fourth times dx dt, dx dt. Where is dx dt? 
x is sine 2t. So dx dt is going to be 2 cosine 2t plus. Now f of y, partial derivative of f with respect to y, which is going to be, well, it means that x is a constant. So you get x squared plus 12xy to the third times dy dt. Now we are taking the derivative of y with respect to t, which is negative sine t. Are we done? Of course not. Guys, you took the derivative with respect to t, but you have x and y present here. We need to substitute x and y and write everything in terms of t. So dz dt is equal to 2x2 sine 2t, y, which is cosine t plus 3, y to the fourth cosine to the fourth of t times 2 cosine 2t plus. Now x squared, x is sine 2t, sine squared 2t plus 12 sine 2t, y to the third, cosine to the third of t times negative sine c. Finally, you can simplify the whole thing and write it in nicer format. You can distribute 2 cosine 2t two into parentheses, negative sine t into parentheses, and if you have like terms, you can combine them. Simplify if necessary. This is the very first step in applying the chain rule when we have just two variables, x and y. 